Well, it was uh, a blessing for me to be able to go to um, Bolivia as the first time coming out of the country to um, really to take the gospel and preach the gospel out there to unknown people, a different race, different uh, culture, very poor. And it was just so um, humbling. I remember the incident which we were going to downtown to the main plaza to um, open air preach over there. And I was very excited, but we were, had to take a bus. It was like a 40 minute uh, drive to downtown. And remember, this is a, a bus. You're going through hills. I mean, it was kind of interesting, scary. Going through cliff, there was no barriers in the, in the side of the road. And there was a lot of people coming inside the, the bus. They were picking up people that were heading that direction. And it was not a very large bus, but it was packed. They packed people inside those buses like sardine. So uh, our leader, Charlie, decided that we should go ahead and preach inside the bus. What a best time to do it with a lot of people. And um, so he started for like uh, maybe 20, 25 minutes and uh, people were very um, listening to what was said. And then after he got done, I had the opportunity to, um, to start preaching in the, in the bus. And it's kind of interesting how these people, so simple and poor, but really what a heart to listen and when they feel that they are um, being pierced by the word of God, the expression that they do is that they bow their heads and they don't want to even look at you. And when I was um, open air preaching inside the bus, I was uh, drawing, drawing the attention that we have uh, an issue in which that we are strapped. This is an analogy that our brother Mark used in one of his messages that we are strapped with this bomb that is called death. And we don't know, and this bomb that we're strapped, everybody is strapped with it. It doesn't respect the young, the child. And my emphasis was like, if you die today, will you, um, God is gonna allow you into heaven. So I really started to um, preach the, the coming of Christ. And not only the coming of Christ that is so imminent that we don't know when we're going to die. So what are you going to do in a day? Because the Bible calls, says very clear that it's appointed to man to die in the judgment. So what are you going to do in that day of judgment when you're going to stand before God? Your eyes will close when you die and you open your eyes before the throne of God and what you're going to do and say. So uh, it was very um, impact. I was impacted by the humility of the people, people wanting to here, no one stood up and say you're too loud, you're screaming, why you're... It was just people listening to um, the preaching, so that was very interesting. And uh, when we got to the plaza, I really... Um, thank God I didn't preach in a plaza because it was a totally different atmosphere. It was a lot of arguing and, and debates going on in the plaza, but uh, one of the brothers started to preach there at the plaza and just seconds, the crowd just drew next to him and started asking questions and, and a lot of stuff broke out. And it was kind of scary, but um, thank God that um, God was with us and God planned this trip and I know that God um, moved in a mighty way, so it was a privilege to be part of this, amen.